Oh man, I keep telling you, it's just going to keep on getting worse and worse and worse. Every single day, especially now, it's in America, but of course now we're seeing more about the virus, the, everything, the virus, the virus, the virus. And all we hear about is cases, right? New restrictions, Scotland says, new restrictions being placed to limit the virus spread. Face masks will be compulsory for retail staff in England. And so you got to hear this madness, literal madness. So after careful consideration, we have decided that from tomorrow to be reviewed. Fines for breaking the rules will increase in England. And with exceptions that I will come on to, visiting other households will not be permitted. To be clear, this extends the restriction that has been in place across the west of Scotland for the past three weeks to all of Scotland. Regulations giving effect to this change will come into force on Friday, but I'm asking people to comply from tomorrow. One of the reasons we have decided to do this is that our early data suggests that this restriction is starting to slow the increase of cases in the west of Scotland. So if we take the difficult decision to extend it nationwide now in an early and preventative way, we hope it will help to bring the R number down and the virus back under control. There will be exceptions for those living alone or alone with children who form extended households, for couples in non-cohabiting relationships, for the provision of informal childcare by, for example, grandparents and for tradespeople. But for everyone else, visiting each other's houses will for now not be permitted. The madness that is going on in the UK where you can't even visit other people. Now, again, as a nurse, it, as a nurse, you, we're, we're taught to teach people. We're taught to teach people about medications, changes in diet. You know, if you have a particular disease, we're trained to teach you in detail, in simple layman terms, what to look out for, what medications to take, how to take them, and what you can do, what you can do to improve your health. All right. So in this scenario, where all we hear about is rising cases, rising cases, more numbers, more numbers, more numbers. But there's so much information that they don't leave, that they always leave out, right? How old are these patients? Did the patient come into the hospital for coronavirus, right? I've had patients who are in the hospital, but they're not in the hospital for COVID, but they test positive. So every day Cuomo comes on TV and says X amount of people have COVID. There's a guy I took care of not too long ago who was in the hospital because he missed dialysis. He didn't, he decided he didn't want to go to dialysis. And then he got fluid overload and he had a difficult time breathing, which is the outcome of missing dialysis and so missing one too many days at dialysis. You become short of breath, your limbs start to get swollen and you start to feel short of breath and you need to go into the hospital for dialysis. This particular individual tested positive for COVID, but was not in the hospital for COVID and had no COVID related symptoms, but he was on contact for COVID, right? So he would be entered into the number of positive cases for COVID. Even if the test was flawed, which many of them are, I've shown that in numerous videos that the tests have been flawed for quite some time and are still flawed till this day. And so every time what we what you hear about but previously, if you remember, it was always about hospitalizations, right? It was always, you know, we got to we got to reduce the spread to limit the number of people going into the hospital. But they never talk about that. They never talk about the hospitals are filled to capacity um, or that, you know, we're near capacity at the hospital. So X, Y and Z, this needs to happen. Right. They don't talk about it. All they talk about is the spread. Right. But they don't tell you that most of those people that tested positive have literally zero symptoms or very mild symptoms, if they even have symptoms at all. And this is happening not just, of course, in the United States, but now we're seeing the totalitarian government taking place in other parts of the world. And if people don't do anything, you'll be, you'll be living literally in a totalitarian regime, right? This is literally how all this stuff starts where people just give up their freedoms and this it's crazy because there's other people that will defend this and they're like we got to bring the cases down 
And then you actually have a conversation with them. And you look, like, are there any of these people in the hospital? And it's like, it doesn't matter. And I was like, of course it matters because that's the most important information that you can give. What, how old was the person? Was that person past life expectancy? Did COVID bring them into the hospital? Were they, were they febrile? Were they short of breath? Were they having, uh, you know, what did their lungs look like when they came into the hospital? Cases mean absolutely nothing without detail. But all they want to give you is the least amount of information and people are more than willing to lose their freedoms, even to seeing their own families and friends. The government will restrict you now from seeing your family and friends because of wanting to stop the spread. Whether, whether those individuals are actually sick or not who test positive is irrelevant to them is just about whatever it is that they're... Uh, whatever it is that their narrative is for why they want to lock people down just for either total control uh, in america literally giving out money to wealthy people through corporations and there's like no science behind this even today even every day cuomo talks even today cuomo talking about two hundred thousand. you know rest in peace to the two hundred thousand that died of covid and yet the cdc already declared that of the so-called number of individuals who died of covid only about 9600 of them died of covid the rest of them died of their pre-existing conditions whether they be heart failure or diabetes or sepsis or these numerous other issues that they already had and many of them were old and yet people are just give literally willing to give away their freedom for nothing they're not here to protect you they're not protecting you from the so-called spread and those little shitty masks that most of these people wear plenty of people are walking around with this ain't going to protect you from a real virus it's not going to protect you from a real virus sad sad state that we are living in today if people don't stand up collectively and do something who knows where we're going to be within the next year